We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. I have to hold the camera up like this. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. back or welcome to our channel. It's Serena from the Falco family. And me. And Kendall. <laughs> where we make videos about education and lifestyle. Today, I think I'm trying to hold this out further. So, on one of our last videos about our schedule and time blocking in our schedule, how and why we do it, um, someone asked a question about what do we do when things run a little differently, when there are appointments, um, when there's other things going on. And I think that's why I like it so much because it's really, really easy just to move things around, like move a block around, you can delete it. You can move it to another spot in the day. You can move it to another spot in the week. Um, but today is one of those days, so I figured I would just pick up the camera and try to record a little bit throughout the day because today is one of those days. Today we are heading. <laughs> Today we are heading to Philadelphia for what, Kendall? My cooking class. So Kendall is having a cooking class at the Hudson Table Philadelphia. Um, so Brian has a half a day today. Um, so we figured we'd just shake things up and head over um, and just hang around while he has his class. His class is about two hours. So we're gonna take everything that is in the morning for today and just delete it basically um sometimes we take the blocks and move them to a different part of the day or a different part of the week um or whatever we need to do but for today we're just kind of deleting those blocks for the beginning of the day um and then we're just going to head with kendall and support him as he goes off to his cooking class today so we're really really excited he's had a couple of cooking classes before um at different with different companies but this one is a really really nice uh kitchen in philadelphia and i'm really excited for him to be able to go and learn and cook um we were able to submit any allergies or special like requests or suggestions for him because Kendall does have dairy allergy. a dairy allergy then he also does not do peanuts so there are a few things in the menu on the menu today that definitely have milk that they are going to provide substitutions for so of course we just pack his antihistamine and his EpiPen just to be safe but Brian and Savannah and Cameron and I are going to all hang out in Philadelphia while he is taking his cooking class you ready, Kendall? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you nervous? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm very nervous. Though. You don't think you're I, nervous? I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll be grand. I think you're gonna love it. So, go get your stuff, put your shoes on so we can go. Okay. Um, what else was I gonna say to you guys before we left? There is a market um, a new market that just opened that we want to go and see and then we just might just walk around and hang out It's only two hours um, But I wanted us all to go together because Kendall has been such a trooper um, Savannah and Cameron do soccer they do basketball and we're always packing up all the things and heading off into their functions So I just want us to all just kind of show some support and love together as a team instead of it just being a separate thing because his um, classes are kind of further and few fewer between that's what we're going to do today and I thought it would be nice to bring you guys along so you could see what we do when we have to move things around in our schedule yeah. okay so he's grabbing his ID badge <laughs> I don't have my own hand sanitizer so that'll come in handy yeah it will okay so you can tuck it in or you can leave it out you can tuck it in your shirt. You can always take it out, okay? Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. That's nice, right? Okay, go ahead. This is what Kendall does to get across the floor because he doesn't want to walk on it. <laughs> there we would be in our day, but it's just going to get moved. All I have to do is go to our day and pick them up, move them, or delete them.
little adventure and we have a stack of books from Head House Books in Philly. I know, right? Savannah has, Savannah has her pastry. Savannah is trying to get into her pastry right now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Come tell them about it. I made some cornbread. Okay, sit, sit down. I made some cornbread and some s'more bars. S'more bars. And chili. And He's got chili. Queso dip. And queso. It was so fun. There were um, there were two other kids. There was Caroline and there was Ben. Mhm. Mm um, Ben was six. Caroline was nine. Okay. Ben really likes cooking. He said he made a fruit salad once. Oh. Did you tell him about what you like to cook? Um. Yeah. 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 And he likes making pancakes. Okay. And Caroline said she's. She's the only made fried plantains. Oh, okay, okay. And what'd you say you like to cook? I said <laughs> eggs, shrimp, ramen, okay. rice, okay. hot dogs. <laughs> you like it all, right? This yeah. smells so good, Kendall. Try Let me see. Wait a minute. So he didn't actually have the s'mores bar. I don't think any of them had them when they were there. Mm -hmm. So they were able to substitute for his allergens. Yeah. He doesn't do dairy, so they were able to substitute with like coconut milk and they also substituted the chocolate inside of the bars. It's not focusing. There you go. <laughs> okay, so they were able to substitute um, the chocolate for a dairy-free chocolate, so he actually gets to try a yes. s'mores bar. I tried to wait until we got back because I forgot our Benadryl when we went on the trip. I bought the medicine bag but completely forgot the actual Benadryl. So he's gonna have that and then Savannah has her pastry. It looks so good and she's being so impatient. <laughs> okay, go ahead and try it. So good. <laughs> Bite it. Ooh. Bite it now. Bite it. So. Mm. <laughs> they also made queso that looks so yummy. This was the only thing that he wasn't able to substitute. So he bought it back for his siblings. Chocolatey. Yeah. Frankie. Mmm. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mm-hmm. All right. What? Okay, so, thank you for following along on our little Philadelphia adventures. I'm not sure how much footage I have of it, but at least hopefully you get the point here. So it is about 12.52, so it's basically one o'clock, and it's perfect because we finished lunch, and I substituted our little adventure for the beginning of the day, and now we can turn our study hall light on this signifies class being in session. <laughs> but basically, we're just gonna start by, ooh, uh, okay. <laughs> what? So, is it good? <laughs> she loves it. Now our light is on, which signifies class being in session. What we'll probably do to jump back in is jump into reading. I'll just give you a little bit of a haul from the bookstore. Crest Watercrest. I picked this up from the library a little bit ago, but had to turn it back in because we hadn't read it in time. But this is actually a signed copy, so that's exciting. And it has illustrations in it, which is always really, really nice. I feel like they take illustrations out of books way too early. This is by um, Gregory Gregory McGuire. Crest Watercrest is a rabbit. Home means a warren on the riverbank with mama and papa and baby Kip. Meals at dawn and dusk and honey ginger tea to help the baby with his breathing. When papa doesn't return from a nocturnal honey gathering expedition, love. <laughs> mama assumes the worst. After all, it's a dangerous world for a rabbit. Though Crest begin, begs to stay, what if Papa comes home and doesn't know where they've gone? Mama moves the family to a basement apartment of the Broken Arms, a rundown apartment tree with a menacing owl landlord, a nosy mouse super, a rowdy family of squirrels, and a pair of songbirds who broadcast everybody's business, okay? Could a dead tree full of annoying neighbors and no Papa ever be home? 
It says, with his trademark wit, whimsy, and wisdom, Gregory Maguire um, tells a tale of growing up and moving on in the tradition of the wind in the willows and Stuart Little. Look at these. Look at these. So pretty. So. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> I have my book that I bought with my own She smile. did. Math for the win. Violet and Joby. <laughs> okay. Before she gives you the recap, something that we do is um, the keep the change initiative. That's basically when we go out to the store and then we purchase what we purchase and if they can give me the change in time, then they get to keep the change. So I feel like that's a real life money math situation okay. um, that is really <clears throat> useful and fun for us to play along. Go ahead. Bought with my own money, yes. Violet and Joby. <coughs> oh my God. Violet and Joby are brother and sister and best friends, content with their predictable life in a comfortable human house with its warm and cozy surroundings, educational television, and tasty snacks. Until one day, snack! And so begins the adventure of a oh lifetime. <laughs> Let's see the cover. I'm at chapter four. She started reading in the car. Yes. You gotta work with me, honey. The okay. door. Okay. Cut. The door. Cut. Ah! <laughs> the door. Have no at all. Okay, so this is Cameron's pick. This is by Kwame Alexander. It says a history, a history unknown. We will play, play itself. itself. No, start we over. Start over. Wait, wait, let's do it together. <laughs> Together. A history wait, unknown. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? A history unknown. Will we'll replay itself. We, we must, must tell, tell the, boy the boy what he needs to know. We didn't. We didn't read that so well. <coughs> ready? No. Okay. Ready? No, I'm Three, doing it. <laughs> two. One. A history, a history unknown, unknown will, will replay we play itself. itself. We, we must, must tell the boy what, what he needs, needs to know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Young Kofi lives in dreams on the banks of the river. He loves these things above all else. His family, the fireside tales of his father's father, a girl named Ama, and of course, swimming. It is in the river that he feels invincible and where he thinks he can finally prove himself in a race against his schoolyard rival. But the river also holds dark secrets that Kofi will soon discover. Told never to venture there after nightfall, but never told why, Kofi seeks his own answers. One night is all it takes to transform a life. As his world turns upside down, Kofi ends up on a harrowing journey that steals him away from everything he loves. This one is Cam's. Mmm. Pringle. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. Okay. And then... Cordelia could feel a secret being whispered in a language she didn't speak. The map was a question from her father, and she had to find the answer. Mm -hmm. Or I should read the map. No, that was good. Okay, go ahead. Cordelia stared into the flames, thinking about everything that had happened. First, there was the mysterious man turning up at the shop, whispering about the North Wind. Then London's most notorious tra traitor escaped from his own execution. She pulled, she the, pulled telescope the telescope out, out from, from under her bed and, and twisted it. it. The, the map, map slid out from its secret compartment, smooth and blank. I have to discover where this is. leads. It's, it's more, more urgent than ever. ever? <laughs> You're heavy. It's gonna, it's gonna end. Anyway, okay. So that's how we're gonna jump back into the day. We're gonna get some snacks and read. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, is to live and, and to learn. Bye. Oh, Savannah. Oh, you're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. To subscribe.